Namona Ryan, everybody. This is Sanyasi Shivani coming to you from the unceded territory of the Tanaha Nation and beautiful Ishtadev Niwas Ashram in the pre dawn time, which is usually my quiet time. But I was so inspired this morning and so, um, just so the frequency this morning, um, which is so different from yesterday, uh, is so lovely that I wanted to share it with you. Um, it's, it's, some, it's, it's been a challenging couple of days, um, astrologically, frequency-wise, um, for many people, not everybody, obviously, um, but if it's, if it's going okay for you, you probably know somebody that is having a challenging week. Um, I think last, yesterday, uh in the in the stars in the archetypes right because the planets are are the archetypes that are connected to vijnana maya kosha and they are the 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 frequencies of um they're the frequencies of uh of the archetypes that when are then karmically identified with start to create a reality and this is why shakshi or the witness is such an important tool such an important um muscle to have and so yesterday i think there was 15 squares so that's a 90 degrees it's 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 not flowing right 15 squares nine oppositions and six conjuncts conjunctions and that's some very challenging energy so when there is identification with the mind on the energy and you don't have enough where for all to go okay this is the energy and this is how I'm feeling this is who I choose to be in this moment what does kindness look like when I am feeling incredibly crunchy you know what does what does um uh graciousness look like when uh when i'm feeling mean um and so and so i wanted to let you know that today is 11 11 the day of remembrance in the collective and remembrance to uh the fallen soldiers or and soldiers and and what it takes to fight for something what it takes to fight for something and the sacrifices that go along with that when you Fight for something you truly believe in. Um, and for many, for some, of course, there's always wars happening in the world. But for many, the war, the war right now is happening on the inside. And that too takes sacrifice and discipline to be able to understand the energies and then choose. So Shiva... I may have a personal, you know, love for Shiva. Obviously, my name is Shivani, which means Shiva's wife. Uh, it's Shiva, Shiva's wife when Shiva is in a good mood with her. <laughs> he calls her my Shivani. Um, Shiva is the frequency. Shiva's frequency is 11. So on 11, 11, there is a tremendous strength in aligning or choosing to align with the frequency of Shiva. And what is Shiva? Shiva is Adi Guru, the first Guru. Shiva is um, the first number that does not collapse into duality. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten collapses that takes the zero and the one and still creates a one. But eleven. 11 is a mastery number. It's the first mastery number. It's the first master. Yeah. And that does not collapse into duality, but holds the pillars, hold the sanctity of sovereignty. And, and if it brings things into balance, Shiva is, is not opposed to leaving for, you know, 80,000 years. He, he, he steps away uh, from, actually from Sati, I think it's for like 80,000 years and, you know, gives us some time to work out our karmas because the energy of Shiva 
is so compassionate that it does not let any ignorance stay. It does not let any ignorance stay. And that is why Shiva is uh, the healer. This is why for Shiva we chant the Mahamra and Jaya Mantra. Because it is the ultimate healing to no longer be in ignorance. And this is why Shiva is very much connected with uh, Agniya Chakra. And astrologically, I see a lot of parallels between the archetypal uh, imagery of Shiva and understanding of Shiva and Pluto, right? God of the underworld, the transformer, God of death and rebirth. But to be the God of death and rebirth, you have to transcend death and rebirth, yeah? So this is the this is the frequency and the energies that are happening today. So I, I highly recommend if you are able to to chant the Mahamra and Jaya. If you do not know how to chant the Mahamra and Jaya, um, Google Shiva chants and put on something. You know you don't have to know how to chant it yourself, but the frequency is there to not collapse into the duality. The frequency is there for today to be a tremendous day of remembrance and of healing in the portal of uh, potential, what, it, what, what our potential is as humans to remember the highest potential of what we are, who we are, and who we aren't. So, Namangarayan, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. And the energies are still very intense. It's okay, Shiva is intense. The energies are still very purifying, very um, challenging to navigate sometimes. And that's okay. It's okay to feel all the feels. Give yourself permission to feel. But then take that feeling and channel it towards the divine, not away from the divine. Take those feelings and offer them to Mama Earth. Sit, sit outside, stand outside, go for a walk in the forest. The, there is no bad energy. There is no bad energy. Energy is just energy. Whether it's optimally... Uh, uh, resonating or not optimally resonating but there's no bad energy it's your identification and actions of what you do in that energy it's once with it's taken the frequency and you've identified with it you've created a story around it and then you've created an action around that that is what can be out of alignment so Blessings to everybody. We love you very, very much. And the moment I am.